Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is an Amore wig called Bay. It's in the color Rose Gold R. Bay is a pixie with some soft layering and waves. This one has a lace front and a monofilament with a double layer. It's darling, and I can't wait to tell you all about the style and the color. So let's get going on that. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me Bay so I could show everybody this cute style. Name Brand Wigs is a wonderful supporter of the wig wearing community. Obviously, they're a retailer, so they have a vested interest, but they do a lot of great things. They support a lot of reviews. They have a blog. They have a lot of education. They have a wonderful customer service team, and if you're struggling, you can reach out and get help from them. You can email them, support at namebrandwigs.com, or you can call them, and the phone number is at the website. I will link this piece in the description with other details. All right, everybody, let's take a look at Bay from all sides. Isn't this cute? If you're a pixie wearer, but you like a little bit of more of length on the top, you don't really want super short front and you don't like it spiky, this is darling. And something I really appreciate is the nape. This nape is 2.8 inches. And when you see the nape measurement, that's the hair at the very base that's attached to the cap. And I like the fact that it's over two inches because I think this will be a long enough nape for most people to hide their hairline. If you have a low hairline in the back, it's really important that you know the length of nape that you need in order to hide your bio hair. My go-to is usually about two inches, but two in to almost three inches, I think this is a great nape will work for a lot of people. Now this is made from regular synthetic fibers and they feel great. I just think this style looks super realistic and natural. The blonde does have a little bit of a synthetic shine. We will talk about this color toward the end, but honestly, if you wanna put some product in it, you wanna you know, play up these layers and slight wave and you know, really kind of mess it up, you can use styling product. Because this has a lace front, you can wear it with the fringe down or to change up your look, you can take and put a little bit of the front up and put a little clip in and that'll give it a whole different profile. I love short wigs with their styling flexibility. I love to wear them with headbands, bandanas, in clips. I think that's super, super fun. Let's take a look at this lace front. Now for me, it's a little lighter than my skin tone. It's a very light lace. In order to make that work for me, I would trim it back a little bit, and I do have a video showing you how to do that, and probably put a little face powder on it just to help it to blend with my skin tone a little bit better. But if you don't wanna wear the hair up, you certainly don't have to. The other really cool thing about this is it has this double layer monofilament on top. Let me show that to you. Now because of how the hair is styled, you really can't see down to the monofilament that much, but it does help to give it really natural movement because all of the hair is sewn in, or tied in, I should say, into this monofilament, which allows it to move more naturally than when it's sewn in a track on a weft. This right here is a soft net material. It's a double layer right there. Really gives it some, it protects the lace, and monofilament gives it really soft feel. So if you get irritated by monofilament, this can really help with that. This is a very, very deep lace front. We have ear tabs with bendable stays, no soft material on the ear tabs. This is not an extended nape. We do have pull adjusters, otherwise known as bra strap adjusters, and it's open wefted. This is a very lightweight, very low density, light and cool wig. So if you get hot in wigs, a wig like this is going to help with that. You'll always have a measure of heat being trapped by any wig, but a short, lower density, kind of a lot of open wefting is really going to go a long way toward helping you to feel a lot cooler in your wig if that's something that you struggle with. Well, so I mentioned that it's it's relatively low density. There is a little bit of crimpy fiber permatease right here at the sides. When I put my fingers in it, I can feel the crimpy fibers, but there's no poofy, pillowy permatease on this. I think they did a good job of, of sewing and tying in the hair on the top to give it lift 
and some volume without needing to use permatease, which can act as an insulator and make a wig hotter. And some people just don't like permatease. If you want to get more volume out of this, if you like your hair really voluminous, I think if you use styling product and really play with this, I do think you can get some volume on the top. It's not going to be maybe as much volume as you would see on a wig with a lot of permatease, but if you want it more flat, just run a comb through it or your fingers. You know, you saw me playing it up, but if I smooth it out, look at how it really tames and smooths out. It's just really a wonderfully constructed and layered piece that gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, this cap is actually running bigger than I'm used to with Amore wigs. I've reviewed some Amore wigs in the past and I've always found their caps to be more on the average petite side and run fairly small and, and have been really tight on me, but I am feeling like there is plenty of room in this for me. There's a little bit of stretch. It's not super stretchy, but I have no issue with the fit on this. They've come out with a couple of new styles recently and I just re reviewed um, I'm not gonna be able to remember the name off the top of my head but I just recently reviewed another one and the cap was the same it felt like it was running big I do get extra cap up here can you see that when I do that it doesn't bother me it doesn't feel like I'm getting a lot of bulking on the top but I have very petite over the top of the head measurements you'll find all of my measurements in the description so that means if you have bigger measurements than me over the top of your head, I think this will fit uh, even possibly up to an average large with as much cap as I get up here. But it's it's not so much that I'm uncomfortable. I feel like it, you know, gives me a cone head or anything. I think it's just fine. I'm just surprised by how big this cap feels compared to other more caps I've tried. All right, let's talk about this color, Rose Gold R. I'm actually going to take it off as I'm describing it because... I'm taking issue with the fact that they called this rose gold. Basically, it's a light blonde base, almost in some places looks platinum. And then the description says it has reddish highlights. I'm really not seeing very much in the way of red. Potential dark or um, kind of a light brownish auburn, but very, I mean, I have to stretch my imagination to really see that. It's almost like this is highlighted with a light, a warm light brown and with a blonde and very light blonde. And then it does have a root. It's a very good root. It's a shadow. It's not super dark. It's a little bit warm. It's sort of a play on what I see as being a light brown in this piece, but it's not dark at all. It looks so, so natural. So if you're buying this wig, or if, you're, if you want the color rose gold, gold R, because you think maybe that's going to be sort of a pinkish, I'm not seeing that at all. I'm seeing a, a dynamic light blonde with some low lights in it that really don't pull red in my opinion. Not on this piece at least, and I've never seen this color before. So if you have experience with rose gold R, please share your opinion of how this color looks in the description to help other in the comments I should say to help your wig sisters out who may be looking at this wondering about this color I think if you like light blondes you like low lights you like a dynamically colored wig you like a soft root this is a great one but if you're looking for more red or you're looking for kind of a pinky like a rose gold pink I'm not seeing that at all in this one let's get outside so you can see this color outside thank you so much name brand wigs for allowing me to share bay with everybody it's really darling if you like pixies with a little length in the front check this one out thanks for watching okay, here we go with this really pretty color outside now I just took this out of the box I've not filmed my review yet so I'm just gonna let you take a look at this color I haven't really studied it I'll talk a little bit more in depth about it which you've already seen <laughs> when I do the review bright sunlight right on it so you can see what it looks like in direct sunlight. Ooh, I thought I had a bee on me. All right, friends. Beautiful blonde. Thanks for watching. Let's take a look at Bay out of the box.
Unboxing wigs is so fun because you have the opportunity to see what a wig look, looks like brand new out of the box. And this one is super cute. Just wait till you see me put it on. I really, really fell in love with this one. It took me a minute though, just to really kind of take a look at it. And then suddenly I was like, wow, so cute. This is an easy one right out of the box. You're gonna know right away whether or not this is a good one for you, which is always really helpful. Thanks for watching.